Welcome to the Three Mindsets. My name is Ross, Ross Clark, the Mindful Coach. And today we're going to be looking at three different mindsets. To me, by me, and we me. So before we get into the actual presentation, I'd like us just to stop and drop. Just to take a few minutes to come back into presence. So if it feels comfortable, just gently close your eyes. And become aware of the sounds in the room. The sounds that are around you. Just letting the sounds come to you. And as best you can, not thinking about them. And now we will shift our attention to the posture of the body. So we're going to shift our attention from sounds to sensations. So our body's alive with sensations. The ones that we're interested in are the ones that are grounded, the grounded heavy sensations that we find in our posture. Just being aware of the posture of the spine, where our feet are, where our hands are. And we'll shift our attention back to sound. Just the awareness of sound around us. And we'll shift it one more time to the sensations, the sensations of the posture of the body. And then now we'll share the awareness, being aware of sounds, being aware of our posture, and being aware of thoughts. Not judging the thoughts, just letting them come and go. And now we'll conclude this session of stopping and dropping. So the learning objectives for today are, and this is an advanced meditation training. So, you know, if it seems obscure or you know, doesn't fit, just set it aside. The introduction is going to be around the emotional energy chart. And what we're going to do is we're going to explain to me, by me, and we me. And then we're going to have an experience of just self-talk. So the emotional levels, this was developed by Dr. David R. Hawkins. And what it is, it's a quantitative number that shows the vibration rate of different emotions. So you can consider each of these numbers has a different power. So the lower numbers are not as powerful as the higher numbers. And then this is the equivalent emotion in this column. And then in this column here, this is self-talk. This is our self-talk. We think about 60 to 70,000 thoughts per day, and they say about three quarters of those are negative. So when we pay attention to our self-talk, like what we just did by stopping and dropping, hearing the sounds, feeling the grounded sensations, and then just being aware of our thoughts, it can give us an idea as to where we are on this chart. So we'll start off with the to me. The to me is characterized by I can't. And we can see that the lowest level is shame, humiliation. The next level is guilt and blame, uh, apathy and despair, uh, grief and regret, 
anxiety and fear. And so this lower half of the chart, they could be considered fear-based. And it's also characterized by kind of a, a subtle, this has happened to me and I can't help it. Every time I do this, this happens to me. It has um, a tone or a quality of a victim um, approach. So it's quite helpless uh, because everything's happening to me. So these are the resulting emotions that contribute to, to that, you know, that mindset. This is the, the base mindset, we might say. Not that these are bad, but there's a lot more joy and benefit that we can find in our day if we can rise above, recognize that these are there, and then rise above them. So the next one is by me. Now by me is different. We have tipped the point and now we have gone into love. Where before we were more fear-based, now we're going into love-based. And it all starts with having courage. So we have courage here at 200. And then we have trusting, willingness and accepting, forgiving. And again, we can, care, we can tell where we are just by the self-talk that we hear our, ourselves saying subtly to ourselves. So, by me is so much different. It's that I can. Yes, I can do this. Yes. And there's, a, there's an energy and a strength and a power in just this by me. I can. I know I can. Yes, I can. So, the final stage is we. We, me. So it's like we can. So with that, we understand that we're not alone. There's a lot of resources that we can draw on. There's friends, relatives, wisdom figures. Uh, there's a lot of skillful ways that we can have that sense of connection. So it's that yes, we can. Um, understanding. Now, not to expect that we would be there all the time, but the more that we explore that and experience that, the more the mind is inclined wanting to go there because it's characterized by having empathy, love, joy, bliss, and the final top stage is a very, very deep understanding of life. So the tipping point is the line. So below, this would be the level of that's more fear-based, um, disappointing, longing to get something, angry, hateful, scorn, uh, I'm entitled, you know, this shouldn't be happening to me. And then once we cross over into courage and hopeful, there's something I can do. I can change this. I just know that I can. Now we have moved to the other side into the love base. So this is where we can keep moving up and up and up over time and with practice into these higher mind states. So the way that it actually works is that we're never in one level for a long period of time. So we might be able to be in a level of understanding and we may find that, you know, two hours later we are um, down in despair. And so we move back and forth on an ongoing basis. It is our mindfulness, our ability to pay attention to our self-talk that tells us where we're at. And if we find that there's a lot of poor me, then we can say, oops, um, this can be different. And now, yes, I can, I can learn from this and I can change this. And so then we move ourselves back up again. Over time, this shifts. It becomes higher and higher and higher. And it becomes more just a way of our life. So we'll just do one more stop and drop. And again, we will do some stop and drop. And then we'll do a, just a short little exercise. So we've become aware of the sounds around us. And then we become aware of the sensations, the heavy, grounded, firm sensations in our body.
And the reason we do this is that the sounds around us, the sensations in our body, are always in the present moment. And it's from the present moment that we have choice. We can choose to respond to the emotion as opposed to reacting to it. And it takes practice. So again, we shift our awareness to the sounds around us. And then we shift to the sensations, the sensations of the posture. And now we're going to shift our attention to the thoughts. We're not going to produce a type of thought. We're just going to watch the thoughts as best we can because now we're more grounded. And like clouds in the sky, we can just watch them come and pass by. So next we're going to enter into the exercise. We're just going to do something that's general, that oftentimes we would like to weigh less. So we're going to suggest to the mind that we lose weight. So again, we're grounded. Just paying attention. Being present. And then we can suggest, may I lose weight? And now we can pay attention to the response. And some of these responses could be coming from very deep down in the unconscious. There could be responses of, it won't work, I'm afraid I'll starve. And they would be very, very subtle. And we may not really be able to catch a hold of them at this point. There may be other responses of, yes, yes, let's do this. Yay, let's lose some weight. So again, just by being still and quiet, being present, we can catch a hold of some of these deeper motives, these deeper thoughts that aren't always available to us. So this is the benefit of mindfulness and mindfulness training. And we can use the chart to compare where we're at because we now have a glimpse of some of our self-talk. And this self-talk could be going on so much through the day and through the whole process of of wanting to lose weight. And it's going to be difficult if we have that subtle self-talk, if it's afraid that it's going to starve, that something bad's going to happen. Chances are we won't be that successful. So in summary, to tell where we're at on the emotional energy level, we just notice our self-talk. And as we change our self-talk with phrases of intention, we can change our emotional energy level. So my examples of this could be, yes, I can. Yes is very powerful. So, yes, I can. Or, may I lose weight? Yes, I can. You'll know what's best for you and just trust in your inner wisdom that whatever needs to be said, intended, will come. And another powerful one that we looked at before is, yes, we can. So we may invite a friend to kind of be there to to check on our progress. Um, we'll draw on whatever resources we can so that we're not alone in what we want to do. We feel supported and yes, we can. So with mindfulness, it's not about striving and trying to grasp and get something. There's nothing to get right. It's because we have these natural faculties of attention and intention and the ability to reflect on what's happening 
that we have everything that we need in order to take and move forward in our life and have more peace and contentment. So thank you for your interest in this video. And if you'd like to have um, more of these, uh, please subscribe and we will produce more. Thank you again.